Pew pew pew! Welcome back, you're watching Jin tonight. I have been trying to clean my room up for the longest time, and it's not happening. <laughs> well, this is my tutorial on uh, how to clean up your room. And get yourself cleaned up and get yourself energized, put some kung fu music on, something get yourself hyped up. Otherwise, you feel like a slug and you're not gonna wanna do anything. You're gonna look at the mess in your room and you're gonna wanna be like, uh, I don't wanna do that right now. I'm too like, uh. Okay, now that you're all squeaky and clean, you may begin cleaning your room. If you have big windows like me or nice lights, light up your room because you're gonna wanna see everything and you're gonna wanna have that non dungeon darkness feeling. Well, unless you're into that. If you have a bed, it might look something like this. What I do is I grab a basket of some sort. Could even be a box. Yeah. Alright, so folding your blankets. I hate doing this, but it makes your room so much more clean. Sometimes my bed sheets are hard to fold and they're too big and slippery and I'm just too lazy. What I usually do is I just roll this up into the ball. <laughs> Your desk is probably messy and it probably has a lot of junk or random stuff on it. Like a shopping bag or something. And just temporarily grab everything on it. I saw this on the video not too long ago and just throw it in. Of course if it's fragile, yeah, don't don't throw it in. Like, like this I wouldn't throw in. Um, candles. Alright, and voila, the desk is clear for the most part. This also applies to any other surface you might have in your room, for example. While you're cleaning, it might be handy to have one of these things, smart cleaning things. Or if you don't have it, you have a wet towel or something to wipe down the surfaces as you're clearing it up. Relocate everything! Try not to get distracted by social media or messengers or whatever. It, it will really slow you down and probably you'll end up stopping. So after you cleared off the table as much as you can, you'll probably end up having a bunch of stuff oh! on the ground. And this still looks like garbage. Next best step is to throw it out. It's computer parts and stuff that you could probably use in the future. Are you really going to use it? <laughs> That's the question. Like, if you're going to use it, maybe in the future, you could probably throw it in a box and lock it up in the garage or somewhere that it won't break down. But if you're not going to use it immediately, you're probably going to want to get it out of your way. <laughs> I have these box of CDs that I probably won't ever touch, ever. If you're really dedicated, then yeah, put them on your computer, extract the files into MB3 or whatever files, and You'll have it on your computer, then you can access it from there, because everyone does everything on the computers. One thing I noticed on my Montreal trip was uh, Kyle hanging his pants in the room. It was like, extremely convenient. All you do is take your pants, fold it in half, slide it through. And then BAM! Now it's like, neat -er. Better than a pile of clothes, just... Yeah, you, you know what I'm getting at. Now you can hang them somewhere, and you don't have to worry about it looking garbage have weight lifting things or uh, gym equipment or something like that or you do martial arts uh, find a designated space for your equipment and your tools because otherwise it's gonna be messy like this all over the place you don't want them in the corner unused if you have a lot of cables like me like my computer you might want to look into some cable management but for now just shove them under the table and out of the way deal with that after everything else is cleaned up you might even find some time capsule items, you know, like these things, these things. <laughs> oh man, nostalgia. But for now, they're time capsules and you want to put them somewhere else. Uh, let's just not throw these out, but um, find a better place for it. After you've thrown out everything you need to throw out, you're left with your furniture and all that is, is just placement. So whatever you want to use or use more often, have it more uh, visible to you. Like place it in front of you, place it in a place where you can't ignore. See if you'll actually use it. If you don't use it and it just sits there and gathers dust, then you might as well put it away or throw it out or sell it. Yeah.
by this point, you should probably be down to like little stacks of papers or a lot if you have a lot, and uh, your room should be a lot more cleaner. Wow! <laughs> I have finished cleaning my room for the first time in ages. Now, I know this probably won't stay clear and organized for too long, and that's because I have not cleared out my closets and inside of my drawers. There's like 50,000 things inside of here, <laughs> and I have more than one drawer, so uh, it's gonna be a diff bit difficult. The surface is clean, and it looks nice. I feel pretty good. I don't think I'll come back into my room feeling uh, cluttered. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> Once again, thanks for watching. Like it, love it, subscribe. Cheers.